Hi, this is Chris from Discovery Learning. Today I'm excited to be launching our latest plugin for WordPress, which is a small but useful add-on feature to both GamiPress and LearnDash. The background for this is that the default behaviour of GamiPress achievements is to show all achievements or badges that a user has or has yet to unlock that are available on the WordPress platform. But earlier this year, we were working with a client who suggested that because learners may be taking a completely different mix of courses to one another, displaying a long list of every achievement on the platform for everybody may not be the best way of doing things in LearnDash. Much like in my video game library, I wouldn't be interested in seeing a list of achievements for games that I don't actually own. This is what our plugin attempts to address, as once activated, you can instead assign each of your achievements created in GamiPress to a specific course, meaning that users will only see the achievements that are relevant to them, that are within their power to unlock. Let's take a look at how it works. So here on our LearnDash demo site, I'm logged in with our test learner account. And here we have the standard GamiPress achievement shortcode in place to display the list of achievements, both locked and unlocked by the user. As you can see, there is an achievement for completing the LearnDash Advanced Techniques course, but I, as this user, am not actually enrolled into that course. So this achievement cannot be unlocked and is not of any relevance to me. So as the admin, what we will do is go ahead and activate our add-on plugin in our installed list. Now we just need to head over to our achievements menu in GamiPress and you may have your achievements labelled as badges or awards or achievements. It really doesn't matter, it will always work regardless. Now we can find the achievements that we want to be associated to specific course enrolments such as our fundamentals and advanced course completion achievements. When the edit screen loads, you will now see a new box appear in the top right of your screen allowing you to select from any LearnDash course available on your platform to associate with this achievement. I'll go ahead and select the course and click the update button. Let's go ahead and do the same for the advanced course this time. For our other achievements, as you can see, these are generic to our site and should not be associated with enrolment into any one specific course on the platform. Therefore, we can go ahead and leave these as is. Let's now return to our learners view and I'll hit refresh in the browser. And as you can see, I'm now only seeing the course completion achievements that are relevant to my own courses. Even if I try to search for any other achievements that may be on the platform, I'm only going to see the results come up that are relevant to me. I hope that you'll find this plugin useful. We're running a name your price scheme for this plugin. So if this might save you some development time, we would really appreciate a cup of coffee in return. Thank you. And as always, good luck building your next level learning experiences in LearnDash LMS.